Wow, look at this pretty flower. Look at this. I know, I'm gonna have to use it here in a minute. <laughs> look at this. Oi! The eggs. All the rain, sleep. beautiful flowers, man. Oh, ah. what's that? Going over to Terrence's guest house. Check out the design he came up with. Boy, I can't wait till I get cement down here on these walks. Those roots are a pain in the butt. You get your slipper caught in it. It's crazy, but you'd fall backwards because of a steep grade. And here's the bike trail. It's unbelievable. People living way back there in the mountain. And they come riding through here. What did they do last year when they didn't ride through here? Where did they go? Why are they coming through here now? I mean, if I want to put a fence in here, put some cows in here to graze, That'll shut off their roadway. Hmm, we're going to have to check that out. Inquire, get a higher man interpreter. Go talk to him. Dogs and dogs and more dogs. Those colors are nice, vibrant. Wow, there's the new shower pipe. Needs a little help. Usually doesn't take long when they turn the machine on. Ay. I got my giggle juice. Yay, yay, yay. My next step is here to do this door trim. Put a sub extension jam on here but when I close the door I'll put a mark down through here and then I'll rip some new boards to put over this and they paint it up nicely uh, I don't know what color scheme he's going to use but usually like a primer will be the white color and then he'll color the uh, do the color scheme over the top of the white this is such a nice little room use it for an entry and a small kitchen and it's got the nice picture window you can look out over the meadows and the rice fields and look at Lena's roof <laughs> maybe there's birds bird watchers let's not forget to mention the pretty flowers Any old who, I'm just about ready to tackle the CR there, get that all trimmed out and the window trim put in there or window frame. And then he can buy the pane and we'll cock it in there. But the main living area. Pretty much got it. He added this accent strip up here and I put that in today and then uh, he wasn't going to do these corners but last minute he decided to do the corners and it looks a lot better and then brought these down on the sides there. 
first I had smaller ones up there and it didn't look right. It kind of looked funny. I made them a little bit longer. Now I hope they'll be okay. The corner over there, man, by the time I got done, everything looked so dirty and it wouldn't sand out and wouldn't sand out, so I just added a coat of paint over it. Improved it a lot. It just made the room look a lot more smiley and friendly. Wow. What a difference the white paint made. This paint splatters a lot. So I was doing the ceiling. I paint a little square and then come down and clean and then paint a square and come down and clean. And I guess it took too long because he wants to do it now. He'll finish it. But, uh, look out for those splatters. Been me, I'd have just got a tarp and laid it down and painted the damn thing and been done with it. But I have no idea where the tarp is. Probably cut up into pieces for other things. Anyway, the window trim, that's all secure now. Uh, things are glued into place. And the same with these little guys. And that little door. The breaker switch. Right, and I'm ready to start right here. Get that all prepped and ready. And got to make two more pieces for the window sides trim. And along with two pieces for the door sides out there. And I got it down here. Got one rip, but... This guy here works great. But for some reason it doesn't want to charge the battery. I left the charger and the battery in overnight. Nothing. This little light here doesn't come on anymore. And it just blows me away because I don't know what happened to it. So now I'm left with a blasted screwdriver. And uh, tried nailing this down to secure it because I'm using it for a straight edge. I run the uh, saw table right right around there, the base right along there, and that's an uh, inch and a quarter, and that's my cut, so I just add an inch and a quarter to the measurement that I need. And now I'm down to a blasted screwdriver. Man, that's just a pain in the ass. Sorry about my French, but not necessary. But now I'm screwed, no drill. Oh well, could be worse. It'll work out. It'll work out somehow. But I really uh, appreciate. I really like this design. I love making things like that. But anyhow, thanks for watching. God bless. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.